going to talk about CLIL uh, at the infant or pre-primary uh, stage. Okay, first thing we have to, to bear in mind when working uh, at CLIL in, in pre-primary is, um, well, as everybody knows, one of the principles of CLIL, of the CLIL principles um, coined by Doy Coyle some time ago was the four C's, which was culture, communication, cognition, and, um, and content. Thank you, Maya, that's it. Researchers and people who are doing investigation about CLIL they are moving away from those four C's and they are starting to talk about four new uh, C's which have to do with the 21st century skills. Right, critical thinking. Apply it. A very simple activity that most of us usually do in pre-primary education, like labeling, is applying the information they already know to some different kind of a uh, format. Let's go to the second uh, step, which is analyzing. Again, we go a step forward, which is a step a little bit more difficult from a cognitive point of view. Because in this case, children don't have just to repeat things or, or to look for something. They have to look for something, analyzing, analyze them and uh, give reasons, right? So in this case, this was the planned project. We went outside. Believe it or not, we have a little bit of a garden in, in our school. And what children have done was picking up a, a, a little plant that was in there and they were analyzing the different parts of the plant on the real plant they, that they have in there. Okay, let's go let's move on to the next step, which is evaluating. When we talk about evaluating is that once the children have all this information, they have to do something with, evaluate, with the, the information. Here they, we're doing an experiment and when you, when you do an experiment, you have to follow the scientific method. That is, you have to... Uh, look at what you're going to do, the materials you use, you, or you, you're going to use, you're going to, you have to make hypotheses of what is going to happen uh, after the experiment, then you do the experiment and at the end you evaluate the results. So this is what they're doing. They are experimenting how the plants absorb the water. In this case, this is the, as the celery experiment. Once they, uh, they are waiting for the experiment, because here you have to put a celery stick into dyed water, and then every 5-10 minutes you, they have to cut out a section of the celery stick to see if the vessels are dyed in red, which they really are. And uh, they see how the uh, celery stick continues absorbing the water. And then they have, uh, they have a register worksheet in which they have to go registering all the data they've got uh, after evaluating them. And afterwards, we come to the top of the pyramid, which is creating. That is, creating means applying all the knowledge they have acquired previously into doing something, making something autonomously or with some help, but especially personally. Right, up to this moment, we were talking about critical thinking, one of the four C's. Next one is communication. I'm not going to insist on this, but because I told you before. If we want children to be communicatively competent, we have to let them communicate, that is, speak. This is why the class, the, the lessons or sessions are going to be noisier, because children have to speak. If you want them to be communicatively competent, they have to speak. Then, as regards creativity, again, remember, when I talk about creativity, it's creativity not only from an artistic point of view, but also from a problem-solving pro point of view. So in this case, Juan at the left, he's solving a problem in which he has water uh, on, a, on a measuring jug and uh, he has to solve the problem which I posed in that was, okay, how could you put the same quantity of water in two different jugs to have the same amount of water but it's split up in two? So they have to think about, okay, these are the different jugs the, uh, I've got, these are the different possibilities I've got and reach a solution. And the last C was collaboration. And again, collaboration because children, from uh, as regards uh, acquiring knowledge or acquiring content in a second language, everybody starts from scratch, from the same level. So we need uh, them to cooperate a lot. They need us uh, as, as uh, guides, as supporters of, of the learning. And uh, cooperation is very important from the very beginning. So thank you very much for attending. And I hope to see you soon again. Mm -hmm.